All right, y'all. So I figured um, I'd do a quick review slash update on everything I've done to my 2021 Grizzly EPS. Um, I know when I'm watching YouTube videos and stuff like that, I like to know what people have done to their machines and what kind of upgrades they have, what they like about them, what they don't like about them. So, um, yeah, here we go. So first things first, um, I have 650 miles on the machine. Um, as you can see, I do have the quad lock wireless charger and mount as well. Um, that comes on with the key. It's just a quick twist, pops off, twist pops back on. Um, I got the vibration dampener, I got it all. I did start with a cheap eBay clamp. Um, and it worked really well, but then I got a new iPhone and needed a new case anyway. So I got the quad lock case and figured I'd just go all out, get the mount, the charger, and the whole shebang. So that was that. Um, I do have a couple little decals I've made um, just for fun. Um, I got, I did make some mud flaps. Um, if anybody has questions on those, I'd be happy to answer them. They do help. Um, I'll put a little side-by-side -side right here of how they looked, how the fender looked before and after. Um, another thing I have done, I actually just finished installing the Iron Baltic skid plates. Um, full aluminum. They are really pretty cool. Um, lots of coverage. It's the hole underneath the bike, I mean. It's it's pretty cool. Um, once again, that's Iron Baltic. It was about six hundred dollars shipped to the door. Um, only thing I did have a little trouble with was my what I call it, Amazon winch. It's called a Zeke. Um, I had to trim a little bit just to get the bolts to um, clear the skid plate. So, um, which is another one of my upgrades, the thirty-five hundred pound Zeke's winch. I know. Uh, Worn is usually the way to go, but this, for the price point, I couldn't touch it. And uh, I know it says Badland. That's just, I have a Badlands uh, Harbor Freight winch on my wife's quad, and that's from that. But it is a Zeke winch. It has never failed me. I've used it quite a bit, um, and it's pretty pretty nice. Um, Power Mad hand guards are another thing I did. I've always liked the Power Mad products. Um, had them on my old Warrior too. That's actually what's now on my old man's Kodiak. Got the LED light kit because I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, and also the mirrors. The mirrors are fantastic. Um, they are not quite, they're not large, but you can see behind you if someone has their headlights on, you can tell they're still back there. Um, I did get rid of my safety warnings. I actually. These are still the same things. I just flipped them over and painted them. Um, there's the front two, color matched with the rest of the bike. And the rear one, the claw with the grizzly bear, um, I think is pretty darn cool. Looks better than those white and orange um, safety warnings. Uh, this back rear box was, I think, the first thing I put on this bike before I even took it anywhere. Um, I was always sport quads. I always hated not having somewhere to put everything. So having a utility quad, I figured I'd go with the box. Um, just a bunch of towels in there right now. It's not packed for a trip. It'll be packed next week. Um, not too many stickers yet. Haven't been too many places with this. Just got it under a year ago. So um, been to a couple of those twice now, but <clears throat> and a couple of those twice as well with the Grizzly. Um, Okay, uh, the hitch on there is, <laughs> that's another Amazon product. I usually don't keep it on there, but since uh, since it's just around the yard, um, I like to have that. It's good for pulling the yard cart around, pulling wood up and whatnot. Um, Power Mad Reverse Light is also cool. I love Power Mad products. Um, this works both on a rocker switch up here, and then it will also turn on automatically when you throw the quad in reverse. Um, it does come with wiring and instructions to wire it into your reverse, which is right on top of the motor there. Um, 
and a pretty nifty thing to have so you don't have to hit that switch every time oh what else um i got just put these tires on before my last mountain ridge trip they are bighorn knockoffs of course um they are tusk trillo bites they are 26 by 9 by 12 um, so stock, well, almost stock sizing, an inch wider than stock sizing. Um, and I think they are actually a little bit bigger, true to size. Um, rear is also stock sizing, except they are, well, let me see. Nope, they are the same stock size. The stocks were 26 by 10 by 12, and so are these. They do look wider. Um, they are 8-ply, so <laughs> they should withstand a lot. Um, and be able to take on some of the asphalt you ride down Hatfield McCoy trails Because um, I know I'm heading down there again in a couple weeks um, Do a lot of road riding down there. So don't like Tires that really can't withstand the asphalt um, Another thing of course I did the third light I put a different bulb in there so it matches the headlights I couldn't stand the look of the halogen light up there. I thought it looked <laughs> pretty wonky um, with different colors there. And um, just wasn't a big fan of the two different colors. That was about $17 for two bulbs. If you need the link, I have it. Um, and I think it matches pretty darn well, especially with the headlights and the hand guards. Oh, one other thing, power mad lights. I do also have a switch for the front of those. I did run into a couple circumstances where it was night and I was trying to um, trying to not blind people and it was really tough. So I did wire a switch into there. I put it right in, right in the box actually. Um, so it's nice and hidden. Don't have to worry about too, too many switches up here. I would put a light bar on the front of this, but I have so many switches and so much wiring in there already that I just don't think it's necessary. Um, and these headlights are plenty bright enough. Um, I think that's it for upgrades. As far as things I've done to the bike since I bought it. Overall review, I love it. Um, like I've said in my intro video, if you guys didn't watch that, if you haven't seen my other videos, I do have an 88 Yamaha Warrior as well. Um, it's actually my old man's, but I refurbished it and everything. And, Still ride it every now and then um i've always been sport quads i had a when i started on my dad's 88 warrior bought my own 2002 i think yamaha warrior and then went to a honda 450r and then bought a raptor off the showroom floor 2018 um and i usually rode with my wife that's her rancher there um, and we just, we, I mean, we, we did a lot of hat field trips where we'd do a hundred miles a day and just kind of cruise. You weren't doing that racing around stuff that you do on sport quads. So it was time for something more comfy. Um, so I did sell the Raptor outright and then I went and bought this brand new, had a little bit of trouble getting it because of, you know, COVID demand versus supply and all that fun stuff. But, uh, I do really like it. It's got plenty of power um, only a couple times have I wanted more power and I haven't done any clutch work any fuel program or exhaust anything like that yet so um, it's had plenty of power I've, I have not gotten stuck yet um, when I said previously that I used the winch it was actually to pull other people out not me <laughs> so I haven't gotten stuck on it yet even with the stock tires that were actually had some pretty darn good grip um, <clears throat> it's very comfortable. It's the most comfortable quad I've ever ridden, especially compared to my wife's with a straight axle. Um, it's a lot softer. It's even softer than my old man's 2017 Kodiak with the IRS. Um, it just rides really nicely and I still have the sway bar on. So I like the ride. I don't see, <laughs> I don't see it worth spending what I think it's like 12 or $1,700 for Elka shocks that everybody's talking about. I don't think those are necessary. Um, but hey so yeah overall i love the bike um and if you guys have any questions for me feel free um i've been team yamaha since i started on four wheels which is about <laughs> five or six years old so 
Um, have any questions, leave them in the comments. Happy to discuss um, anything you've found or anything you know about upgrades maybe you think I should do. Um, anything I have that you have any more questions about, let me know. And um, thanks for watching. We will be posting a video in a couple weeks here. Uh, well, probably a few weeks by the time I get it edited and up online. Um, but we're heading to Hatfield, I think, two weeks from Thursday. So i um, heading down there for a few days, so hopefully get a few videos out of that. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.